Today we are going to discuss about chem profile in which the very important point knife edge follower and uniform acceleration. So welcome to my YouTube channel Mechanical Engineering Management. Like, share and subscribe. So let's take one example. Draw the profile of a cam operating with a knife edge follower from the following data. Follower leaps through 40 mm during 100 degree of rotation. So this is the stroke length and 100 degree that is the ascent angle. The follower remains at rest for the next 80 degree rotation of cam. So this is the dwell period. The follower then descend to its original position during 90 degree rotation of the cam. So this is the descent angle. The follower remains at rest for the rest of revolution. So that is the next dwell period. The least radius of the cam is 50 mm. Sometimes it is known as the base radius. The motion during the ascent and descent is uniform acceleration. Very important data. That's why I have used with the different color. The line of the stock of the follower passes through the axis of the cam shaft. So up to here, this problem is for the diploma students. And this point number 8 is particularly for the degree engineering student. Determine maximum velocity and acceleration acceleration of the follower during its ascent and descent if the cam rotates at 900 rpm. So let's start with the cam profile and then we'll discuss about the numerical portion. So this is a summary of the points that is given to you in the description. So first draw the horizontal line then draw the vertical line that is given to you the stroke length as 40 mm. So the length of this vertical line as 40 mm then draw the horizontal line randomly. Now start with the outward stroke 100 degree. So take the scale 1 cm is equal to 10 degree. So the length of the out stroke as 10 cm. Then next dwell that is given to you as 80 degree. So the length of this line is 8 cm. Then return to its 90 degree that means this is the return stroke 90 degree that means the length of this return stroke is 9 cm and remaining dwell period that is 90 so if you can't accommodate it the 9 cm in your sketchbook page then you can use this symbol now divide this out stroke into the 6 equal division and give the name as 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and draw the vertical line passing through all these points similarly you can do for the return stroke divide it into the 6 equal division give the name as 0 dash 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash 4 dash 5 dash and 6 dash draw the vertical line passing through all these points now the very important part that is given to you as uniform acceleration and retardation so if it is uniform velocity then you can join 0 to this point as straight inclined line then for the dwell horizontal line for the return stroke it is a straight inclined line and then for the dwell horizontal line but here it is uniform acceleration so you have to divide this line into the 6 equal division and give the name as a b c d e and f then join 0 a 0 b 0 c next join this point 2 c join this and d join this point and e so this point we can say starting point of the out stroke and this is the end point of out stroke so join the starting point of the out stroke with this abc and join the end point of the out stroke with with c d e now mark the intersection point of 0 A and vertical line passing through 1 as A. Similarly, this is the intersection point of 0 B and vertical line passing through 2. Similarly, you can understand for C, D, E and F. Join all these points by smooth curve. Similarly, you can do for the return stroke. Divide the center line into the 6 equal division. Give the name as a dash b dash c dash d dash e dash and f dash so with the ruler scale directly you can divide it so don't waste the time to divide it into the six equal division in the examination and then join this point with this three line because now your follower is over here and it is going to downward direction from here to here so this is your starting point of the return stroke and this is the end point of the return stroke so start with the starting point so join this point to e dash d dash and c dash and then end point with b dash a dash now mark the intersection point as g h i j k l and join with the smooth curve 
so for the out stroke and for the return stroke the shape is like that and for the dwell period you know straight horizontal line so this is all about displacement diagram so now you have to remember in the examination that if it is uniform acceleration then for the displacement diagram divide the center line into this six equal division and so that you can remember these all steps if it is uniform velocity then you can remember the straight inclined line for the out stroke and return stroke now for the cam profile so randomly take one point give the name as o draw the line passing through this point that is called as the axis line because of offset distance is not given to you then minimum cam radius is given to you as 50 mm knife edge follower is given to you to so draw the knife edge follower on this center line and once again in the description it is not given to you about the direction of the cam rotation so you can assume it in clockwise direction and so that you to take these all angles out stroke dwell and return stroke in the anti clockwise direction from this reference line so first angle 100 degree with the help of the compass then next 80 degree and then next 90 degree and so that automatically your remaining dwell is 90 degree now divide this out stroke into the six equal division with the help of the compass by the bisecting method because here you can't divide directly with the help of the compass this 100 degree angle and give the name as 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 similarly you can do for the return stroke so this is the return stroke divide it into the six equal division give the name as 0 dash 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash 4 dash 5 dash and 6 dash now with the help of the compass take the distance from 1 to a 1 to a and draw the arc over here so we'll locate the a point then 2b as the radius draw the arc then 3c is the radius draw the arc then 4d as the radius draw the arc 5e as the radius draw the arc then 6f is the radius draw the arc so this is for the forward stroke or it is called as out stroke similarly you can repeat the step for the return stroke with the help of the compass 0 dash g is the radius then 1 dash h is the radius then 2 dash i is the radius then 3 dash j is the radius then 4 dash k is the radius and last 5 dash l is the radius so once you got these all points join with the smooth curve in case of knife edge follower so in our description knife edge follower is given to you so join all these points by the smooth curve so here i have erased the extra line but it is not compulsory to erase all this line now join all the points with the smooth curve from 0 to f then with the help of the compass you can do from f to h and this is once again by the smooth curve then once again you can do from 6 dash to 0 with the help of the compass so this is up to the cam profile now the numerical part so in the numerical part it is given to you as uniform acceleration so you know that this is the formula for the uniform acceleration so in case of uniform acceleration maximum velocity is 2 omega s upon theta and maximum acceleration is 4 omega square s upon theta square so i am going to write over here for the uniform acceleration maximum velocity is 2 omega s upon theta so maximum velocity is 2 omega s upon theta so you need to find first the omega So as you know that omega is equal to 2 pi n upon 60, where n is given to you as 900 rpm. So you can put it over here, and you will get omega 94.26 radian per second. Then for the ascent, you can find maximum velocity is 2 omega s upon theta a. Theta a is the ascent angle for the ascent period. So 2 you know that omega that is as it is. Stroke length s is given to you as 40 mm. So you can convert from mm to meter, and so that your maximum velocity is in meter. Per second. Keep in mind that theta a ascent angle you need to convert it into the radian. Then for the descent, maximum velocity is 2 omega s upon theta d, where theta d is the descent angle. So 2 as it is omega, you know that 94.26 s is the stroke length 40 mm, that is in meter. And theta d that is the descent angle, and that is given to as 90 degree. So convert it into the radian. 
so you will get this one and so that you will get maximum velocity is 4.8 meter per second so maximum velocity for ascent and maximum velocity for the descent now we are looking for the maximum acceleration for the ascent and descent so once again you know that for the uniform acceleration the maximum acceleration is 4 omega square s upon theta square so note down over here 4 omega square s upon theta square so for the ascent you know that theta that is now theta a ascent angle so 4 omega you know that 94.26 square so it must be square as stroke length so 40 mm so here i have converted it into the meter theta a must be in radian so 100 multiplied by pi by 180 you will get in radian and simplify it so you will get maximum acceleration is 467 meter per second square for the descent the theta d descent angle is there instead of ascent angle you can put the formula and you will get maximum acceleration is 576 meter per second square so thank you my dear friends